Let's understand the difference between squash and stretch behaviors and standard After Effects presets. We start by applying the roll in behavior to the yellow box. Squash and stretch creates these keyframes for us, so let's select them all and save them as an animation preset. Now we apply that preset to the other two boxes. As you can see, now they move exactly like the yellow box, even stretching into the same shape. That's because presets are just a copy and paste of keyframes. They don't know where your layers were or what shapes they had originally. Let's say you don't need the squashing and stretching and we delete the Bezier warp effects to keep only the transform keyframes. Now the boxes return to their original shape, but the motion looks completely wrong because the timing and movement were made for the yellow box, not the others. So let's undo that and instead apply the roll in behavior directly to all boxes. Now each layer preserves its position and shape and the deformation adapts automatically. At this point the blue box bends upward for example while the yellow one bends downward. If we duplicate the yellow box and stretch it to match the blue one's shape, you'll see the deformation of the yellow box would look much worse on the blue one. So in a nutshell, Squash and Stretch handles all the complexity in the background, so your animations look good no matter which layer you apply them to. This is 30 days of better animation in Adobe After Effects with Squash and Stretch. You can download Squash and Stretch free and pro at ascripts.com.